I'm Kara. Last week we talked about the zip code alarm, local capacity small. Have you checked it? Please click the video up here for the solution steps. Today we'll continue our August topic, the zip code alarms and solution. It's the following is in jitter up and down during cutting. Here, please make sure your cutting system is zip cut. If no, probably the video is not what you want. Any doubt or question, please leave it in the comment below. I will try to reply you as soon as possible. Before we get into the main chapter, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me a like. Thanks a lot. As you know, we'll get a map first to see the checking steps. 20 seconds. I will come back. Don't go away. The next will be more appealing. The following jitter is not a kind of shaking from left to right. It should be small, frequent up and down vibrations, like the pen movement I show here. If we meet such condition, first determine whether it is disturbed. We can jog the cutting head to a place two to three millimeter away from the mental plate, and then we press five on the head controller interface to check the DIF that. If the DIF value is more than 30, it indicates that there is electromagnetic interference in the system. We can power off the high power consumption electrical equipment, such as the XY axis servo motors, air compressor, inventors, and so on. Then we look at the DIF value again to check whether the value is within 30. If the DIF value is less than 30 after the power off, it means that the interference comes from the submotors or external electrical equipment. At this time, we need to check whether the grounding condition of the servo motors or external electrical equipment is good. The grounding method of the servo motors is relatively professional and uh, will not be further explained here. If the external grounding is required, we can drive a ground stake on the softer ground. The pictures here can be referred to. If the DIF value is still more than 30 after the power off and no obvious changes, the interference probably comes from the power supply for high controller. We need to replace a power supply and try it again. If the DIF value is less than 30, which means it's not caused by the electromagnetic interference, we can try to calibrate the head controller first. Here, please make sure there is mental plate under the cutting head. Press follow on head controller, then we need to observe whether this jitter happened. If there's data as following enabled, the cause could be the rigidity of the subdrivers, which is set too small or too large. In addition, this may also occur if the cobbling of the Z-axis module screw is slipping. So now we need to check them one by one and make corresponding adjustments. There's no jitter as volume enabled. We need to turn off the shutter of the laser source running the simulating process with gas on while checking whether it's in jitter. If the jitter appears as simulating process and gas on, it may be that the sensor part of the cutting head is damaged or not installed properly. 
we need the symbol, the sensor part to check, and then resemble or replace the accessories accordingly. If the data doesn't appear simulating process and gets on, we need to check the mental place thickness, whether it's less than 3 mm or more than 6 mm. If the mental thickness is less than 3 mm, we can reduce the following gain level. The level is shown in the main interface of head controller. We can keep pricing the fast and slow on head controller to adjust the level. If the mental thickness is more than 6 mm and is FS cut, 8000 system, we can try to enable the thicker mental cutting more. In the manual of BCS100, there is a FAQ for the obvious vibration and mechanical shock in the following movement. It's the same problem as our video talking. It lists five possible reasons. First, Amplifier casing or controller FG pan are poorly connected to the machine casing. Machine casing is the negative electrode of the measured capacitor. When the conductivity of the amplifier casing and machine casing is poor, the AC impedance between the positive and negative electrodes of the capacitor is large. So the load of measured circuit varies, which may lead to a larger measurement error. If good mechanical connection cannot be achieved, we can add a white wire, which the copper material is better, between the amplifier mental casings to reduce AC impedance. The AC impedance of a single point connection is greater than that of good mechanical connection. It's required to make the AC impedance less than 10 ohms. Number two, too large servo rigidity, mechanical shock, and obvious vibration may be caused during the moment due to too large servo rigidity. Number three, too large following speed level. Vibration may be caused during the movement due to too large following speed level. Level 3 to level 7 are recommended. Number 4. Poor follower calibration. When the data stability and the smoothness of the capacitance and the position stored in BCS100 is poor, Vibration will be caused during the following moment. Please do follower capacitance calibration again until the stability and smoothness becomes excellent or good. Number five, if there is a large interference at the field, we can appropriately reduce the parameters of the servo gain coefficient. Is the alarm gun and the machine working normally? If the problem is still there, two options. If your laser is still under warranty, please contact your supplier for customized problem funding and solution. If your machine is out of warranty, trust me and come to me. My contact information is here. It's not free, but it's worth every penny. Next week, we are going to continue the topic of the solution for safe cut alarms. Please keep your focus on us. Thank you for joining me here today. I will see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. See you. Bye.